In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing new iPhone tips and tricks. You'll learn new shortcuts, how to record the screen with audio, and a lot more. But before we get started, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this type of videos, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and make sure to leave me a comment down below because I will be replying to all of the comments as soon as I release the video. This video is sponsored by Setapp, an incredible cross-platform suite which gives you access to over 200 iOS and macOS applications without any additional cost. You only need to pay for your subscription and choose the apps that you would like to use. Now, a great benefit is that you can start a 7-day trial for free when you use the link listed down below in the description. So starting off, I'm going to show you how to create both of these automations to turn power mode when the battery level is 20% and turn off power mode when battery level rises above 50%. So let me delete both of these. I'm going to create them from scratch. And you'll see that it's pretty easy to create both of these automations. So first, make sure to open the Shortcuts app and then you're gonna press on Create Personal Automation. Here, you're gonna choose a battery level. Then choose, um, I'm gonna choose 20% because I want to enable power mode automatically as soon as my iPhone reaches 20% of battery. So slide left until you reach 20% and then leave equals 20% and press next. Here, make sure you press on add action and you're gonna look for power mode. Then press on set low power mode on and press on next. Make sure to disable ask before running because you don't want it to be asking you all of the time if you want it to run. So press on don't ask and also leave this one disabled and press on done. So now every time that your iPhone reaches 20%, low power mode will be automatically enabled. Then let's create one to disable power mode automatically. Let's say that you put your iPhone to charge and you want power mode to disable automatically when it reaches 50%. Let's create that. So press on the plus sign, create personal automation. Here you're gonna choose battery level again, equals to 50%, but of course you can choose the percentage that you prefer. Press on next, add action, low power mode, set low power mode, and here make sure you press on on so it switches to off. Press next. Disable this, don't ask, and make sure the second one is also disabled and press done. Now you have two personal automations. The first one will turn on low power mode when the battery level is 20% and the other one will turn low power mode off when the battery level is 50%. Okay, next, I'm gonna show you how to record the screen with audio. So first off, swipe down and make sure you go to the control center. And here, you know, if you press this button, a countdown starts and your iPhone starts recording the screen. This is the sign that your iPhone is currently recording the screen. But if I want to record a tutorial or something like that, this won't include my audio, my voice. So let's stop this and I'm gonna show you how to include your voice with your screen recordings. So swipe down and here, instead of pressing to record, press and hold and turn microphone on. Now, every time that you press this button, the same thing will happen. The countdown will start, but your screen will be recorded with your audio. Now, I know that the majority of you like to record Instagram stories directly on Instagram because you like having the option to use the zoom. You can zoom in and out just by swiping your finger like this. Am I right? But many people don't know that you can also do this in the camera app. So let's exit out of Instagram and open the camera app. 
Here, make sure you choose video, of course, and the only downside is that you cannot do this with the front-facing camera. You need to use the other ones, but I'm gonna show you how to do it. Make sure to press on record, and the only thing that you need to do is swipe your finger up and down, the same thing that you do on Instagram. So simply swipe up, swipe down, and as you can see, the camera, the zoom is changing right here. And that's it. Now let's go to Safari and I'm gonna show you an easy way to crop full page screenshots. Of course, you probably already know that if you want to create a new, if you want to take a new screenshot, simply press on the site button and the volume up button and you take a screenshot, right? But if you want, you can take a full page screenshot. So you can save the whole story or the full website if you want. But let's say that you want to take a screenshot of this story, but you don't want all of this information right here. The only thing that you need to do is press on crop, then choose the portion of the website that you want to screenshot and press on done. Now you have a different full page screenshot. If you want, you can send it to your friends, you can email them, WhatsApp them, Telegram, iMessage, you can send them um, the way that you prefer, or you can print, or actually you can copy, you can print and save to files. And if you use Siri a lot, but don't want to talk to Siri all the time, let's say you want to type to Siri, there is a way to do this. Simply go to settings, accessibility, make sure to choose Siri, and right here there is an option, type to Siri. Make sure to enable this, and now when you press and hold the site button, Siri will allow you to type your requests. So you can simply type right here, send message to someone, and Siri will do this for you. And last but not least, did you know that you can choose between two different versions of the stopwatch? Make sure you open the clock and of course choose stopwatch. Make sure you hit start and if you swipe left, you have a completely different view. You have the option to view the analog smartwatch. So simply swipe left or right to switch between the two different options. And these are today's iPhone tips and tricks. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.